Hello and welcome to another video. Now, whenever you see a problem that looks like this, um, I want you to know that this E could be anything. It could actually be two. Okay? And this could be two to negative three X. It depends on what they're trying to make you do. But one thing you should realize is that whatever they ask you to do will involve you rewriting this without the negative sign, which means it has to be one over two to the three X, just as this one will be um, one over E to the X. And by that, you start having to get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the least common multiple. You will end up creating a form of a quadratic equation. And that's what this video is about. first thing to do. Um, you're going to rewrite this as 1 over e to the x and let's see what that looks like. Equals 0. Now some people will try to uh, rewrite this as e to the 0. It doesn't help. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just with practice, you'll get used to how um, exponential equations appear and what you're supposed to do. So at this point, what we want to do is multiply each term by the least common multiple, which is e to the x. So we're going to multiply this by e to the x, multiply this by e to the x, the same thing here, the same thing here. Every term must be multiplied by e to the x. And see what we're going to end up with? If you multiply this by e to the x, you end up with e to the 2x because that's going to be e to the x times e to the x, which would be e to the x plus x, which gives you e to the 2x, okay? That's what that is. Okay, now if you multiply this by e to the x, it's going to be just 1, because it's going to be e to the x times 1 over e to the x. They cancel out. Okay, so that's how that goes, minus, if you multiply this by e to the x, you're going to get e to the x and multiply 0 by e to the x you get 0. We can rearrange this and write this e to the x sorry e to the 2x e to the 2x um, minus e to the x minus 1 equals 0. Okay now yeah so where does the quadratic equation show up? Well it shows up here because this is something squared you can see this is e to the x if you square it, because I can rewrite this to be e to the x squared minus e to the x minus 1 equals 0. So right now, this is as if you're saying y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. It looks like a quadratic equation. Okay, so I can actually say let y be equal to e to the x, which means that I can write this as y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation that we can all solve. So if you solve this, whatever answer you get for y, you can come back here and substitute and you'll be fine. You know what x will be. So let's see. Let's see what that looks like. So the way this is, it does not appear that we can, um, we can factor. Can we factor? Um, no, we're going to get irrational numbers. So let's just use the quadratic formula. So we're going to use the quadratic formula now. So we have y will be equal to minus b. Remember the quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. You should know that. Okay, so minus b, and our b is negative 1. So that's minus negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared. b squared will be negative 1 squared negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, and c will be negative 1, all over 2a. And what's a? That's 2 times 1. So basically, that's what you have. We just need to simplify this, and we'll get our y, okay? So this is going to be um, 
positive 1 plus or minus square root of, this is 1, minus, this is going to be plus 4. Okay, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive, and that gives you 2. So, your y is going to be 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, or y equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Perfect. Let's go back and substitute. Okay, so we have e to the x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Or e to the x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. We need to get x. Remember, in, in order to get the exponent, if there's no easy way to write it, just introduce natural log. So we're going to write this. This is going to be x natural log e equals natural log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Or um, x equals natural log you know, I didn't have to write this because natural log of e will always be 1 and x times 1 is 1. So if I didn't repeat it, just understand, I already solved this in my head. I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay. That's what you, that's x. Okay. Just take the natural log of both sides. So this is going to be 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So um, that's it. However, both answers are not correct because the natural, the argument, so the argument is what natural log you're taking. The argument of a natural log function can never be negative. And if you look at this, the square root of five is two point something. If you subtract that from one, you already have a negative value here. This will always, this is actually a negative number. And the, the argument of natural log cannot be negative. So this is not acceptable. This one? is not acceptable so the only acceptable answer is this one this is acceptable okay make sure you do the final check anytime you work like this especially when you're dealing with natural log okay it's always the positive value that we look for not the negative so this can't be the answer and this is the only correct answer i hope you learned something in this video if you did give it a thumbs up give it a share give it a a good comment and don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.